Try to lose weight. Try to get in shape. Try to quit smoking. Trying to get organized. Trying to be on time. Trying, isn't it? Now we've all done it. We look in the mirror and decide, that's it. <laughs> We're going to make some changes. Now things go well for a time. Then we start backsliding. We rationalize it with being <clears throat> too tired, had a hard day, or it's Friday and we deserve a break. Fill in the blank. Kind of like the alcoholic rewarding themselves with a drink because they'd been sober for a week or two. This kind of thinking is crazy in light of what happens next for the alcoholic. Yet to some lesser degree, we've all done it. Most of us have or have had a piece of exercise equipment that was the answer at the time, which is now either gathering dust <laughs> or has moved on via a garage sale or a charitable donation. Yet when an ad announces some new wonder exercise device, promising impossible results for just 20 minutes a day, three times a week, we still perk up. To be clear, every diet works. Working out and exercise will provide positive changes, and giving up smoking or addictive behaviors are no-brainers. So why do we fail? Into my early 30s, I was a smoker. I quit many times and started back up just as many. Why? Because I was trying to quit. It was not until I stopped trying that I finally put them down many years ago. But I'm not an ex-smoker. I'm a smoker who just doesn't smoke today. The concept of doing anything for the rest of our life is daunting, but we can do anything for 24 hours. And when we rely on divine life for direction and strength, we cannot fail. But we must ask. <clears throat> when we try, we are working from without to change the within. When we let go and let God, the change comes from within. So if the desire is to lose weight, get into shape, stop smoking, or change any area of our life, we must stop trying and let go. To begin this new path of action, we start by asking in prayer to receive the strength and willingness to follow it. Now, we can slack off, eat a piece of pizza, smoke tomorrow, but just for today, we are going to let go and let God. For in truth, the only time we can be present for God the only time he can be present in our lives is in this moment. Our lives, a series of moments connected in purpose. By staying in the moment, keeping our head where our hands are, our eyes on God, we cannot fail today. My name is Vincent Lee Jones. You can find my writings and videos on Facebook at Miracles of Recovery and Vincent Lee Jones. If you search Vincent Lee Jones, you'll find them on a variety of pages and sites across the internet. I'm the creator of Miracles of Recovery. Miracles of Recovery is a blueprint to change the course of addiction recovery in America today. We have the tools. The money is there. The people are there. But the application is failing. And this is borne out by the increasing number of people dying as a direct result of addiction. Help me change the conversation and save uncounted lives. Please go to miraclesofrecovery.com and join the conversation. My name is Vincent Lee Jones. Have a blessed day.